You look formidable, comrade. Perhaps one day you'd care to spar with Rezaim, yes? This one is the province general of elsewhere. She has earned the name Iron Ear and fights like a champion of Thizrini Arena. You'd do well to watch your tongue, my friend. Peace be upon you, comrade. Good to see you at my little meeting. Yes, comrade. My meeting. I am the Countess Hakruba, daughter of Tiganus, Flower of the Sands, and Province General of High Rock. This meeting was called at my request, as I have the honor of leading the Council. The Guildmaster sets the goals of the Guild as a whole. The Council interprets her wishes at the Province level. As head of the Council, I resolve disputes and ensure we are working hand in gauntlet with the Guildmaster. By the you Divines, it's good to see you here. Wing, my friend. Wide off. Flaminius Octor, Province General of Cyrodiil, at your service. I've long had the privilege and honor of being the Guild's arm at the heart of the Empire. How oh, I wish that were still the case. Lift your chin. Show well, I'm sure you heard of the unrest in Cyrodiil. Three banners set upon the other. The sacking of the Imperial City, the death of the Imperial Line. My time with the Guild has not been quiet. What I wouldn't give to be having this meeting in Skyrim. It's hot as dragon's breath in here. Ha! Aren't you a milk-drinking simpleton? Skyrim is littered with relics from the time of the dragons. Shrines, tombs... Trust me, comrade. Many are the lies and stories told to children. Dragons do not number among them. You must be the one Merrick and Aleph have been talking about. Finally, we get some movement round here. By the green, I am uneasy. All this talk of death and magic. Give me something I can hit. I didn't become Province General of Valenwood through quiet meditation. I got this post through action. My comrade, I am very glad to see you again. This is the Council of Province Generals. They run the Guild under the direction of the Guildmaster. And they're very concerned. I've been speaking to them about our experiences with the ghost of Yafnir and the attack on the Earthforge. We feel, the Council feels, that we need to further investigate Yafnir's death. You will be their eyes and ears with Aleph assisting you. She can explain in more detail when you speak to her. If anyone can get to the bottom of this, it's you and Aleph. She's gone up to the roof of the hall to get some air. Stendar, guard your steps, my friend. I'm sure you've seen some of the Council as you've traveled across Tamriel. Each represents a former province of the Empire, managing business there for the Guildmaster. Stendar, give us strength. Just amazing to think of this as the full Council. Skyrim, High Rock, elsewhere, Valenwood, and Cyrodiil. Hardly the whole of the Empire. We've lost a number of generals over the last few years, and a few even quit after Yafnir died. I finished what I could on the weapon, and we repaired the damage from the Daedric attack on the Earthforge. The core remains unfinished, though, while we deal with these plots. Aleph reached out to members of the Mages' Guild. They tried to summon his spirit, talk to him. They failed. Aleph says something is preventing him from talking to us. I don't know much of such things, but I'm sure she has the right of it. I wish I knew. I extend her Stendar's grace, but the Council isn't willing to do the same. She disappeared from quarters after the attack on the Forge. They've actually ordered the rank and file to search for her. No, I don't. But I'm one of the few. Aleph has already made up her mind as well. Not only does she think Colors ordered the attack, Aleph's convinced she murdered Yafnir. Damn it.
You have spoken to Merrick then, seen the council. It is about time we acted. This one apologizes, comrade. She has been urging action for some time. Finally, to be able to... Ahem. We have been tasked with investigating Jafnir's death, yes? We should begin. Jafnir kept a room nearby. Aleph gave instructions no one was to be allowed inside until we arrived. I shall keep watch here. Enter Jafnir's quarters and search for... something. Anything to suggest a road to travel. Aleph knew she could trust you. Too many voices. All of them very important, used to being heard. They want this mystery solved, and they want it solved now. They are used to combat, direct action. All this thinking hurts their heads. <laughs> Aleph would have hoped you'd notice by now. This one loves to fight, loves the thrill of combat. But a thorny puzzle, a tricky lock, a track to follow in the woods? Just as much fun as a blade in a brawl. We found him in his quarters, the endless sleep. It was very sudden, but at the time we thought nothing of it. Jafnir was getting old. Sooner or later, one of the faster blades would have made him sit down. None. And slow though he was, he never would have gone to... What was it? Yes, Sovngarde. He never would have gone to Sovngarde without a fight. Anything out of place, anything connected with a place or a person. We thought his death just the touch of chance, so we did not know to search. Anything might be a clue. Your sword has not earned its rest yet. It must stay wakeful and swift. Only the bloodied blade deserves the scabbard. Strike! What have you found? Interesting, interesting. Ragenthar is a dwarven ruin. Why would he... We must travel there, comrade. See if we can uncover more. Now Aleph is truly surprised. The Guildmaster had the magical prowess of a particularly slow horse. What was he doing at that ruin? Good thought. Perhaps some in the guild hall saw him there. This one suggests you question our comrades in Bergama. Aleph will meet you nearby. She has some preparations to make. 
There is an oasis near Bergama, Ogre's Bluff. Meet Aleph there, and we will journey to Ragnar together. Looking to crack some Daedric skulls? I've got what you need. Yes, he actually visited a few times in the months before he died. Always came into town dirty and smelling like boots after a hard march. Never asked why. Didn't seem like a thing he was likely to tell me. Go carefully, comrade. Uncertain times in Tamriel. Only thing you can be sure of is a good weapon. Welcome to the Hall, comrade. I bet you've got some good tales to tell of our war on the Anchors. Sure, of course. Had me set out some supplies for him a few times. He said he was going out to Ragnthar, that weird old Dwemer ruin. I kept telling him the mages had already emptied it out, but he kept telling me he needed to go. Oh, studying it and such. Ragnthar is... weird. Unique, I guess you'd say. See, nobody really knows where it is. Physically, that is. It has an entrance near here, right? But the mages say stepping through the door is some kind of... Tempo. Temporospatial claudication. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, it means the ruins inside are all scooped out of time and space. There are entrances to the place all over Tamriel, but nobody knows where it really is. He said he was meeting someone, that he had to meet with them somewhere safe, that what they were talking about was very important. Guess that's why Yafnir went to the trouble of going to that weird old place. Nice to see you, comrade. Our numbers aren't what they used to be. Live by the sword and all that. Sure, I remember him here. But not his business. I think he spoke with Akita a few times. I wish he was still around. Be interested to hear what he thinks of this contract, knowing the Council's all torn up about it. Oh, you know. The Guild has always been about our short, simple contracts. One and done was the mantra a lot of the lads used. Now this long-term thing with the anchors? The coin's good, but it's a big change. Not everyone likes it, that's all. Welcome. This one is anxious to get moving. Aleph will lead the way to Ragnthar if you're ready. Here we go. Try to keep up, yes? Follow, comrade. This one cannot wait to taste the air in Ragnthar. Jofnir visits a remote Dwemer ruin just before his death. No coincidence. And now the guild openly opposes a Daedric prince. Risky, risky. To throw the guild against such power. Foolish. This one remembers when we fought goblins, bandits. Small contracts. One and done. Yes? Almost there. Be on your guard. And here we are, Ragnthar.
Welcome to Ranganthar. The barrier here is a relic of its builders. They did something very strange to this place. Ragenthar is twisted out of space. This entrance here will allow us in. But it is not really here, if that makes sense. Lucky for us, Aelif came prepared. She can bring the door into focus. Let us inside. In her travels, Aelif has learned little tricks and techniques. She has fought mages, Daedra, the undead. Even werewolves. You don't hunt monsters as long as she has without learning a thing or two. This one will just be a moment. The sound of gears. Watch yourself. Are you well, comrade? Did it harm you? A protective barrier. With something inside, Aleph can sense a great power here. Formidable. But this one knows a spell to negate it. Not without your assistance. Aleph will subdue the crystals. You must destroy them. Your window will be short. The spell is taxing. And Alif can only maintain it for so long. Be quick. Alif will begin her spell. You run to each of the four crystals. The crystals empower the barrier. Destroy all four crystals, and the barrier will fall. Prepare yourself. Move your paws quickly. Now. Destroy the crystals! <laughs> That did not sound good. It is a trap! Aleph is pleased to have you at her side. Let Aleph see. 
This is Yathnir's. His body here. But why? He was to be interred near his home in Eastmarch. Keeping us out, yes. But perhaps, perhaps also keeping him in. Elif has tried to have Yafnir summoned from Aetherius, and it has never worked. Perhaps now, Elif has an idea. Perhaps with the barrier down, we speak to him directly. This one knows how to reach out. Elif can draw him to this place, so close to his body. What do you say? Are you ready to get some answers? You have seen the spirit of Yafnir, but always just for a moment. This one believes we can summon him, speak to him, learn who murdered him. Elif told you she has power. Magical gifts, connections to lands beyond. She will use them to draw the spirit to this place. Then we shall see, yes? We begin. Elif will start the ritual. Who summons me? Hush, spirit. Elif will ask the question. What do you wish to know? I will tell you what I can. Elif demands the name of your murderer. Who killed you, Yafnir? It was the Argonian. My subordinate sees all colors. This one knew it would be so. Be gone, spirit. Elif is done with you. I have done as you asked. Release me to walk in Sovngarde. Go. Elif will call for you again soon. Sovngarde indeed. You heard the Guildmaster. Sees all colors. She murdered Yofnir. Perhaps for you, this one has suspected all along. The Lizard was the one to become Guildmaster. The Lizard was the one who set us on this crusade. Aleph smells something foul on the wind. Find Merrick and the Council. They are probably still in their moot at the Sentinel Guildhall. They need to know about this, and they will heed your word. Aleph shall remain and search for more clues. What news do you have? I didn't even want to let myself think it. When she disappeared after your visit to the Aeliad Ruin. What is your proof, my friend? The Council will need solid evidence. Aelith did what? Stendar's breath, that's disgusting. I'll have to talk to her when she returns. But I suppose it did answer our concerns. Oblivion take lizards and cats both. Seize all colors will be found and thrown in a cell. Stay in touch, comrade. We will need you when the time comes. Until then. Unbelievable. To think, Raziem was recruited into the guild by colors herself. To sit here, hear what has been said. Your sword has not This is not good news. It must stay wakeful and swift. Only the bloody blade My homeland ablaze and the guild strike. split asunder. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Were it solely up to me, I'd have her head on a pike. I bet things are going to get really interesting round here. <laughs> 